Hey guys, Great Lakes Sprouts Media here today. We're at this graveyard. Something's killing these trees. Is it the dead? Is it the dead? Or is it something else? Let's find out. So guys, we're here at this graveyard. Luckily, it's not the dead killing these trees. It's improper horticulture practices. I see this all over the place. I've been landscaping for a long time now with my degree and background in horticulture. These trees are dying because of volcano mulching. I see it everywhere. I go around these high-end neighborhoods, $300,000, $500,000 home neighborhoods, and I'm talking about hundreds of trees that are done this way. They hire a lot of people that don't have the knowledge. I'm gonna teach you guys so you don't do this and make this simple mistake. A lot of these trees here, they're not hurting too bad yet, but we can see over time, they will start to decline. You'll start to see dieback, branches dying. It'll start to come down and look sick. So right here, this is known as volcano mulching. You may think, oh, that looks cool, looks nice, a big mound. But this is, this is incorrect. We don't wanna do this. I'm gonna show you guys why. So we remove this mulch back a little bit. You start to see these roots developing here. Bring this back. A lot of these fresh roots here, these shouldn't be growing down here. Once it gets cold, these things will die back. These are feeder roots. We want these to be below the ground, not up here. Also, we'll see other roots that are thicker. If you pull this back a little bit more, we'll give you some more examples later. They'll start to girdle and actually surround the tree and eventually suffocate, stopping the xylem and the phloem from transporting nutrients up and down the tree. Mainly the phloem, since it's in the outer bark. Here, let's dig back a little bit. Let's see if you can see a good example here. Yeah, we don't want these roots up here. You can see this root up here forming. Let's see if you can see some other ones. See this guy right here? This root right here is starting to girdle around the tree. You can see it's probably going all the way around. Eventually, just like a noose, it's gonna suffocate this tree. The only way to remediate this is to get an air spade. They use it uh, to reveal mines in the military. You literally shoot this dirt away and we wanna surgically remove all of these roots that are girdling the tree. The ideal way is you want that root flare exposed. This tree was planted too high in the first place. We want it to be the flare to go evenly flat with the ground. If you come down here, you can see how tall this mulch, volcano mulch thing is. Shouldn't be this tall. If you got extra mulch, the best thing to do is to make the ring wider rather than taller. So you don't have competition with the grass. So if you're worried about hitting it with the mower, just make the ring wider. Best solution. Don't make it taller. This is going to kill your tree, guys. We'll show you some other examples around here that are just as bad. Let's go take a look. Here we go, here's another example. This root's gonna get thicker. It's gonna start girdling its way around. Gotta remove all this, flatten it out. Expose this root flare. We want that root flare. You go to a forest, you see that root flare exposed. Don't wanna plant up to here. There's a couple more over here. Look at these, these ones are real bad. Luckily the mulch has washed away, but you can see how bad this one was. This, this, this one needs a lot of surg surgical removing right here. I mean, you got all this girdling here. Not good. This one was planted too high before too. And like I said, this is a chronic issue, just like smoking cigarettes. You know, it's not gonna kill the tree right away. It might be 10, 15, 20 years. So here's a good example of a tree that wasn't mulch, but it's actually very healthy. This one here, the root flare, it's exposed. If we were to mulch this, we would just go an inch or two around this base. Luckily this tree is not at risk. This one will survive. This one's gonna be good. Yeah, see that root flare? We want that root flare. Remember that. Don't hide this. It's sad to say, guys, but a lot of our state champion trees, the biggest ones in Ohio, are actually found in graveyards because they're undisturbed. It's kind of sad to say, we're not gonna find any here in this graveyard. So here, guys, here's a perfectly good example of a good and healthy planted tree. If we were to add mulch around this, we'd go about two inches. Nice, beautiful root flare. Only issue here I see, the mowers are hitting these roots, which is room for open sores and infection to get in, especially during the summertime when pathogens are more relevant. Ideally, we could either add more dirt around here to cover these, 
or we can make a nice big mulch ring, wider than taller. We don't want to mulch this high. Go wider than taller, less competition from the grasses and other things around, and less grass to cut. And this is a very important thing to know, not with just trees in this grave, but with all tree plantings. When we plant the tree, we want that root flare level with the ground, apple trees, fruit trees, ornamentals, everything. If you want a prime example, just walk into a forest. If you're ever unsure, look to mother nature. She'll always tell you how to do it. So all in all guys, the dead aren't actually killing these trees. It's the groundskeepers and proper horticulture practices. This simple thing right here of volcano mulching, I see it everywhere, all over the place. Don't do it. It'll hurt your trees. It'll kill them. If you guys have any more questions, please comment below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh crap.